Hello everybody, it is Merrill, and this video is really about a ginormous bucket lister that I have needed my entire life and finally got. But um, you're also going to learn a little bit about beach detecting, and you're also going to see that there are hidden places that if you really look, detectorists have not gotten to, even in a city like New York City. So anyway, let's roll. Hey and welcome everybody. I am doing a quick video. Um, I am, uh, I just got finished with the live stream and I'm at a place called Plum Beach. Right over there is Dead Horse Bay and right over there is Coney Island. And this is a kind of a tiny, ooh, roadside beach that I'm getting a lot of signals. When I say roadside, I mean highway side. And here's one of them, it is a penny. So, you know, you find stuff that, um, areas that really people do not uh, detect. Um, you keep looking for them, even in a big city like New York. So that's what we're gonna do today. So far I'm finding a lot of these. In a city like New York, the bottle caps are inevitable, but I'm telling you, if you take the time to remove them, you could uncover some good stuff. Next signal, we got a uh, dime. We have another dime. Yet another dime. Get to the good stuff! I'm sensing a theme here, another dime. Well, tell you what, let's take a look at the beach. So, we have, uh, we're here mid-tide, and uh, we have um, a bay beach here. You see the land out in the distance? Um, that uh, that prevents big waves. Uh, they do happen. So uh, what I see low is going to be extra important here. I've been working my way down. I'm seeing coins at pushback points. Okay, this is an important point. When you first get to a beach, look at the waves and uh, really, really observe. Also, look at the land around you. If you see a if you see land out in the distance in the sea, and you don't really see strong waves, that means that the objects are not going to be pushed as much. And if you think about it, it is going to stay very close to where it is dropped. So there's a difference between bay beaches where there is land around, you know, in the uh, blocking some of those direct strong waves from the ocean versus ocean beaches. The objects just don't move as much. And now back to the talking guy, all right? Hurry up, talking guy, because we got a bucket lister coming. And I'm also seeing over here, you know, the, the waves do reach back here because you can see consistently through the beach that, uh, you know, this is a point where objects accumulate, uh, really light objects. This tells me where the end of the tides can happen and usually happen. Well, guess what? We have another dime. All right, got a uh, quarter. Yeah, you guessed it. It's another nickel. That's a dime. Not nice narration. Jeez. Well, here we go. We got a um, this ring up like a nickel, and it happened right at this uh, line uh, that's being caused by where the uh, tides go. Um, but it's uh, I guess we'll call it a pendant. It's nothing special. Um, it's uh, fit and fresh. It says T M. FitFresh.com. I prefer Taco Bell. Here's the dime. Hey, more dimes. You know what's interesting? The uh, bridge for Dead Horse Bay uh, and, um, you know, the, whatchamacallit, it's right over there, but I'm not really seeing too much signs of Dead Horse Bay over here. So this beach is adjacent to Dead Horse Bay. And Dead Horse Bay, of course, was the site for New York City to dump its garbage for so many years. And it had it was very poorly sealed, and it had uh, seeped out into the water. And you kind of have this 1950s uh, and earlier uh, stuff washing up on the beach everywhere. So here's the thing. I'm at Plum Beach, which is adjacent, and I'm not really seeing too much. Now, it's an interesting time to bring up an article that I recently read about a wedding ring that was 
uh, it vanished about uh, 50 years ago, and it was just recently returned uh, to its user, but it, it was in Florida, and it traveled about 20 miles from the point where it was lost to the point where it was found. So my point in saying this is stuff that is in the water, you know, it could move like crazy. And it, it where it is lost, it does not mean that it shows up there. I bet that there's some really spectacular finds here uh, from Dead Horse Bay that was washed over uh, about a mile down uh, the shore from Dead Horse Bay. All right, I'm keeping going. This is a lower debris field. So I worked my way down the beach and, um, you know, that was the top line of debris. Um, I, I still have not found a patch. You know, patches are, uh, they go vertical and horizontally towards the uh, sea. And I'm seeing more of a coin line right along the top of the beach. This was the first lower signal that I found. Oh man, was I wrong about that. I came back uh, a week later and uh, pulled $24 in this video. Well, this is interesting. You see stuff like this in parks. It, it is a coin that has been bent like crazy. Like it's been through a lawnmower. Coinstar doesn't like those. You, you gotta take a hammer and just Well, they don't really lawnmow on the beach, but uh, I got a coin that was lawn mowed. Guess what I found? Another dime. All right, we got a ancient sea penny here. Come on, man, more dimes. And now I bring you our feature presentation. Oh my God, bucket lister. These are grills. Rugga, or... So I Googled Rugga in the Urban Dictionary and it means ugly. Hugger? <laughs> what the? I always wanted grills. I got real grills. Ah, yo. I can't believe this. I don't think they're made out of a valuable material. These kind of look coppery. They're gold. I tested them. You never know. Let's see what they ring up as. Well, they ring up in the gold range. So does aluminum foil. I can't believe I got grills. I got grills! That's a bucket lister. Oh my god, from my rap videos, this is going to be phenomenal. I'm more excited about the grills, but here's a uh, Dead Horse Bay. Maybe this uh, got pushed over here. Um, it's a piece of a bottle. Uh, I could care less about that. I got grills, yo. All right, got a greenie of a penny. But they're not grills, yo. There we go. I'm even happier about this than the, well, equally happy. We have a ring. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, every time I get a ring, guess what that means? That means I get a trip to Taco Bell. All right, two points. One, rings. I, I have what I call the ring flow chart. Basically, long story short, if I find a ring, I get to go to Taco Bell. Whereas if I don't find a ring, I do not get to go to Taco Bell. <laughs> I guess I deprive myself of Taco Bell when I don't go, so that when I get a ring, this one says 925, by the way, so silver ring, I uh, I get a trip to Taco Bell. So cheers to everybody. We're, we're, we're celebrating at Taco Bell. Maybe I'm going to wear my grills. It's going to be awesome. Now, we're going to speed through the rest of the video, like fast forward. We, we got to get to the Taco Bell celebration and, and the rap song that I made with my grills, here's the thing. You instantly become better at rap as soon as you have grills in your mouth. It is so true, and I'm going to prove that to you. It's a quarter. That's wonderful. Oh, look, it's a dime. How about that? Oh, look, it's another dime. Wow, great. Oh, wow, a dinosaur. Yeah, we love dinosaurs. That's great. Hurry up. Fast forward, fast forward. Oh, look, it's a truck. Yeah, that's definitely a truck. Wheels off. Wonderful. Great. Okay, look, it's a spike. You could stab Dracula with that. It's a quarter. It's another quarter, and it's a hypodermic needle. Don't step on that. That would be bad. Okay, now we have a dime. We have another dime. That's great. Shake it. Another dime. 
And that is, who knows what the heck that is. And that's another quarter. And that's another quarter. And that's another round object. And another round object. Great, great, great. And it's getting dark. And there's another quarter, another dime. And great, great, great. Another quarter, getting darker, getting darker. And we now go back to our regularly speeded programming. All right. So I uh, tried really hard for that second ring. But you know what? I'm going to go celebrate the first. So uh, that was a fun hunt. Ooh, what's that? I can't leave. Let's dig one more up together. No, in this instance, yes, you can leave. Oh, you'll be shocked to know it's a dime. Oh my god. Now, the million dollar question is, do I wear these? When I order my Taco Bell, now I have to clean them. All, all I got is uh, hand sanitizer and uh, yeah, it's probably not too good for me. Um, let me not be impulsive. I think I'll just make a rap video. This is so weird. Taco Bell is the thing that I'm looking forward to like secondarily. Like I, I wanna try on my grills and rap. I'll still take a taco. How about a taco? How can I have you? Hey, how are you? Can I get um, two uh, hard shell tacos and um, bean burrito, please? All right, so I'm about to boil my grills because very soon they're going to spit fire. Boil, boil, boil. All right, now let's try some peroxide. And go to the grills. It suddenly became time for the greatest metal detecting wrapper on earth to flex his skills with the grills. Now the second that you see me pop them in my mouth, you're gonna see me transform like a butterfly. Like a butterfly. Down the beach with my new gold teeth Got the equinox swinging like the New York Yankees I got four bag of swagger from the mantle to coquina And when I walk the sand, I take it to the cleaners I'm a Monterey Jacusto, I wrap it like a burrito I don't have a submersible, I don't need one to find the gold I'm a wacko who likes taco, Alexander Graham Guaco Who could lock it down Gestapo? I'll ring your bell like macho, dropping elbows from the top rope Gonna pin you one, two, three Gonna grill you with gold teeth Gonna milk your beaches clean Gonna feel my pockets lean The gas mileage in my Jeep It rides no longer cheap You see when I got my horn with me I call quorum on forum Call me Lord of the Rings I got plantar fasciitis from carrying my bling So Coronado, El Dorado, Golden Shadow Hit the throttle, rings like Gollum And like Frodo, dig the lotto Knock the macro, that's my motto Yo can follow like Apollo to the Greeks Like the Faro to Egypt That's what I am to the beach Snoop, like a batter batter Snoop, it don't matter matter Poof, like your bladder bladder I'm flattered, flattered, took it higher, climb a ladder, you detect your chatter, chatter, I think you found clad, but you ain't found, I said, I think you found clad, but you ain't found, I said, I think you found clad, but you ain't found, Boo!